Uh oh. <laughs> Welcome back everyone, this is Zade back on the 2Crafty server, and I'm checking out the dig over here, seeing how progress is going, and in fact, this is actually Zade on the 2Crafty server now, if I turn on the thing, you can see that, see that, just says Zade, not Zade underscore, yeah, that is right, the Minecraft name change system has been implemented and whoever was stealing the names they had previously was one of those like little free accounts that got removed because they didn't register it and now I can have my actual name which is sweet anyway progress we're just we're not gonna do anything over here today I just wanted to peek uh, it looks I don't think a lot's been done since I walked over here the other day I would say if I had to guess these top two rows of blocks are I want to say at least halfway dug out probably more like two-thirds of the way dug out it's dug out all the way around the sides as well so pretty good progress the next layer let's see I think gas take f um, yeah I think gas only need four blocks to spawn so it'll get interesting when we start digging out these two layers because we'll have little ghast friends and you'll the lower we go, you're going to have to start watching out for holes that fall down to nothing and all of that great stuff, but uh, well, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's for later. <laughs> I'm going to run back over to my base now and we'll check out on the progress over there. Okay, back over at the base. And uh, as you can see, it looks exactly the same. <laughs> uh, right here, but it's different over there and over there and stuff. Um, hopefully, disclaimer right now, hopefully you don't hear too many crazy background noises. What up, dude? What up? How's it going? Yeah? You want that, you want, you want the one up there, too. You don't even care about those guys. Uh, there might be some background noise. For some reason, large trucks keep driving up and down my street. I'm not really sure what that's about. And my dog thinks that I can't already hear them. Oh, let's start over here. My dog thinks that I can't already hear them and barks at all of them when they drive past the window. So hopefully you can't hear the trucks going by and hopefully the fact that I put the dog in the backyard for a little bit will muffle her enough not to show up. But if you hear any noises in the background, that's what's going on. I finally finished this tunnel. It's, I, you know, I didn't record any of it or anything because it's the same tunnels we did over there and over there and stuff, but... I finally have this one done, except for the ceiling here. I just need to come and fill that in. Just kind of this pattern with like the cracked stone and some occasional mossy stuff. Just need to do that all the way down. But other than that, it's finished. And this is just a tunnel that goes and that goes off to spawn. And now there's like Ares' sheep thing that he's making a bit. And stuff is all over there. So I did that. And then I... Have I done any other random stuff? I'm trying to think. There might be some stuff I'm forgetting, because it's been a little while since the last video, but we're going to be working right up there first. I almost, man, we'll look later. I almost wonder if you can see it yet from the, the ocean over there. It's been a little while since my last video, because maybe some of you have seen, there's a World of Warcraft video on my channel now. Still haven't decided how many more videos I'm going to do, if I'm just going to stream WoW or what. But I started playing again, and the reason that that affects my Minecraft videos isn't because I was like, oh yeah, I'm playing WoW now. Instead, uh, go away, rain. <laughs> and it's like the middle of the day, too. I can't even sleep it away before we go up there. Dang it. Uh, it's not that I was like, ah, screw Minecraft, I'm done, I'm going to go play Warcraft instead. It was just simply, I just... There's like a new expansion out and stuff, right? Look good, but I haven't played for like two years. And I didn't want to just jump up, because starting to play again, if you go all in, like, I had all the old stuff, but I have to reactivate my account, so I have to pay for the subscription again. And then I also have to buy the new expansion, which is a total of like $65 just for the first month. And so I didn't want to be like, oh yeah, I'll just go spend 65 bucks and then log in and 
play for like a day and be like, oh, I'm actually still burnt out on Warcraft. I don't want to play. So I found out there was a... This is what we're going to be working on. I found out there was a free 10-day trial. And so I signed up for the 10-day the trial. And I wanted to get the most out of that 10 days as I possibly could to make sure that I really wanted to play Warcraft again. And so I really just like... just Anytime I had that wasn't like working or sleeping and spending time with the wife and stuff. Even I actually she played the trial too, so our spending time together was wow was wow as well. But this is the uh I'm working on a little tower up here. That's going I'm just trying to see it from some different angles. Hmm, some interesting views from up here. That's the road, that's the end of the tunnel we just came out of right there. And that's the other end of it that goes to where our base is. Um, but I wanted to make sure in those ten days that I really, really wanted to spend the money so I played all of my video game time went to Warcraft for those 10 days so that's why there was no Minecraft for a little bit but now the 10 day trials over I did decide to buy the new stuff so I'm definitely gonna be playing it but now I don't have to spend all my time playing it so I can come back to this this where can I get that's that's a tree I wonder if I can kinda see it over here I've been talking about building a tower up here for a really long time and I still haven't done it and so I figured, you know what, we need to get to this, because what I wanted, when I first established this base, I talk about it in oh, probably around the third or so episode of this season, when we get our base over here, there's this mountain right here, and I wanted to build the road, which is partially built to spawn now, I mean like this path connects, it's just not very fancy yet, but I wanted to, I looked up here and I said, right up here on this hill, I want to build a tower that overlooks that spawn area, and then here we are all these months later and I still haven't even started it. So I was like, let's let's get to that finally. I guess a lot of the details in the side maybe let's I, I can go over here, I think might be the best way. It's actually getting nighttime now. I'll have to run down and sleep this rain away. Let's see kill this creeper here. Anybody else watching? And you can't see it super well through the trees yet, but basically for now, what I'm thinking, you can kind of see it here. Let me put a torch down, brighten it up for you. Um, I've got just kind of these recessed areas with the mossy cobble behind them. And then sort of these pillars on the side. And I'm just sort of repeating that pattern sort of every other block most of the way around. The corners, that one's inside a mountain. The corners right here have a little spot that won't have any but then all of this will and then I'm thinking right now I'm gonna fill in just kind of a solid stone layer and then I'm gonna stack another layer of this on top of that and see how that looks hi thanks for visiting our video um, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do that now I'm gonna run down I'm gonna sleep this stupid rain away and I'm going to add one more layer of that on, and then we'll look at it and see. I'm not sure how tall this tower is going to be. Uh, I, I definitely want it to be that if you're standing down here and you look up, you can at least sort of see it. But I'm, I don't necessarily need it to be huge. I mean, just standing on the ground right here, we're already at Y178, so we're pretty high up there. I've got some room, though. I could go taller... Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, by the way. Um, well, we could sleep this right away now. I, oh, I can't hit tab while I'm sleeping. If you change your name, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I changed my name. No longer have an underscore. See, I have one death. Ah, oh, first death on the server, right? Yay! Special moment. I mean, not really, of course. Let's see. What do we need? All the mobs should be gone. Should be. Let's see if we can go. I'm going to have to go find all my stuff here. Um, changing your name. Joining a server again. Death counters reset. Hmm, fun story. I was actually up to eight. In the last video, I was up to seven. But today I was up to eight because what just happened right there sort of already happened once while I was building this tower. <laughs> I was building the tower. I was actually in like almost that exact same spot too. So that's kind of annoying. But what actually happened that time is a creeper blew up just like it did. And I landed on the very edge of the last block. So I was like just 
barely standing there still. And I went to run forward, and I don't know where it even came from, but a zombie popped out and punched me off. Ah, I didn't like that tree anyway, stupid creeper. Yeah, we'll fix that in a minute. But yeah, I, I landed. It was actually like right where that torch is. I landed like right there. And then a zombie went, pop. So yeah, good times. Anywho, I'm going to see a zombie. I'm going to ender pearl down here. I'm going to try to pick up all my stuff. And then I'm going to put that top layer on. Where is my things? Here's some of it. That's where I, most of my stuff ended up inside that water fountain right there, actually. Water fountain. Waterfall. Where did I die? Oh, man. I must have hit that tree up there. Oh, I hit that tree way up there. Eh, well, okay. <laughs> I'll be back. And I'm back. And I have another layer. And I got my stuff back. Mostly. I got all the important stuff back. I got all my armor, which, wow, that's almost broken. And uh, all my tools. I think I lost a couple stacks of cobblestone, but I found most of my stuff pretty much in the same area. Let's go ahead and poke out here. I'll show you how it's coming along. I'm going to need some opinions on how this is well, how this is looking. I lit up some of this area. The mountain over here could still have mobs jump down on me but i think we're mostly safe out here iron golem farm looks pretty cool from up here anyway i added another layer and i like the way it's looking i definitely want to go taller i think what we're gonna do is i think after this episode i think i'm gonna replicate another layer of just the solid stone and then another layer of this mossy like pillar look area whatever's whatever we want to call that I think that might be tall enough after that I don't know we might want to go taller I'm gonna have to put that on and we'll just see again and then I'm thinking depending on how it looks that way I'll be able to see like three layers of it I'll be able to see should I keep replicating that if I go taller should I come up with another design if I go taller I don't know I don't know. We'll have to see when that gets filled up. And also, on the inside, when I was originally deciding kind of how I wanted this to look, I was trying to come up with something to do with the inside wall. And I decided that's why the mossy cobble goes all the way up, even though, like, in the middle it's not showing on the other side. I thought it looks kind of interesting this way. If I decide we don't like it, we can just cover up a layer on the inside with something else. If we decide we do like it, we can keep it. Uh, in some of these places, we can even adjust the cobblestone, or the stone brick, I guess you would say, on the inside without adjusting the outside. There's a couple places, like I think these rows on some of the inner areas are seen through stairs and stuff, so they can't change. But I think like these could change if we wanted. So I'm not sure what I want to do with the inside. I've... I've let me know what you think of the idea of possibly just putting vines all around on the inside to make it just really like jungle temple looking sort of. I think that could maybe look, but I'm afraid if I I'm afraid if I just cover all of it that it might be too many vines. So I don't know if I try to just cover part of it or I don't know. If you have any ideas for the inside of the wall, post them in the comments. I'm still debating if I should tear that little hill down. I kind of like it, but I kind of think it'll be in the way. Mm. We'll see what it looks like, I guess, when the tower gets... It's going to get at least a little taller. Uh, and I don't think... I can't remember if I mentioned earlier, if I got distracted. The reason I have this door coming out here is eventually I'm thinking that I might continue so that road goes out and straight across to that mountain right there I do have to be a little careful though because Jay's base is just beyond that mountain and anywhere basically anywhere that I would build that kind of becomes visible from his base you know I can't I can't uh, encroach on his stuff basically so I don't want to go too far I think it would definitely be cool to at least have a bridge over there so that may happen but how much I build over there will kind of depend on how visible the top of that mountain is. I'm not sure which one it is from his base. If it's if it's not visible, then we can do whatever we want. 
If it is visible, then I just have to check with him and see. I'll probably do that before I bother building a bridge over there. I gotta figure out what it is. Oh, look, a zombie. Yeah. At least it's not another creeper to throw me off. And I gotta get this stairwell done. I'm thinking I'm just gonna leave it in kind of the spiral thing that's going on here. And using the same tunnel type stuff that we use in the rest of the base. I do have the one area that's stared already by the entrance to my storage room. We'll run over there and look at that real fast. And then that'll probably do it for this week. Uh, let me know if you have any ideas for things to do around the base. Let me know what you think of the tower so far, if you have any ideas for that. And I would also be curious if you're watching this video, are you interested, uh, since I am playing WoW, I'm still debating with World of Warcraft if I want to do videos on the on the YouTubes or not, or just stream it. So if you're, if you're interested in that, let me know. But let's see, so it's this right here. So this is like the the flat tunnel look, except for like this little platform. It's usually the the white all the way across, but that's the tunnel look. And then in the stairs, I basically kind of adapted that. It ends up being that we only have one spot of lava, but otherwise it's just kind of the same look with the stairs. Yeah, so I think I think I'll be able to do that. And I I spaced out that stairs already that it's already this right distance. So I should be able to space it out. Come up with like a I think a skinnier version, a three wide version of that. Maybe just put one brick and then the lava and then one brick. That could work. And then this will be and then it'll be just kinda like right here, you just turn and go up. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Well, I'll get that built sometime and we'll see how it looks but that's gonna do it for this week and yeah i'll see you guys all in the next episode thanks for watching have a good one bye bye